Well, the Tour de Rock team is in the Cowichan Valley tonight, resting up in advance of a major challenge tomorrow, the Malahat. The team pedaled through pouring rain last night as they rode into Chimanus, and that's where the riders began their 10th day of the tour this morning. The riders spent their day visiting schools in Chimanus, Lake Cowichan, before making the trip to Duncan, where the team's media riders, Louise Hartland and Brittany King, accepted a very large donation from a fundraiser this past summer that's very close to their hearts. CTV's Steve Coulterman reports. The Tour de Rock team is escorted into Chimanus Elementary, and a sea of students awaits. The riders say seeing students along their journey provides them with energy and the support needed to complete that leg of the tour. We're doing this for kids, so when we're not uh, seeing the kids, it makes it a little bit harder. When we come to the schools and we see the kids and how much energy they have and they're happy to see us, it's amazing. It's just seeing the kids clapping, doing the cheers with them. Uh, you know, it just lifts me up so much. I uh, needed that fix this morning. Now you're ready to paddle and you know what you're doing it for. It's it's, it's unbelievable. It's awesome. Fundraising efforts are ongoing at Shemanus Elementary and will be for the next week. The principal says she's proud of her students for donating what they can. It continues to keep the message of the importance of supporting cancer research for all our kids. They are very aware that cancer is a very prominent part of most of their families, and so they want to do something about it. After a short visit with the students, the riders set out on a 44-kilometer ride towards Lake Cowichan. The majority is a Along Highway 18, a road that riders say caught many of them by surprise. Straight uphill, I had no idea. It's in a car, it seems nice and long and flat and straight. And um, yeah, now I was definitely feeling the tension uh, as we headed up here. I'd never been to Lake Cowich until until today. It was a good climb. <laughs> it got a lot colder when we got at the top, but it's uh, yeah, it was a good ride. The team relaxed their legs and restocked their energy levels before spending time with elementary and high school students in Lake Cowichan. More than $660,000 has been raised this year through the Tour de Rock for the Canadian Cancer Society. In Duncan this afternoon, CTV's own Louise Hartland and Cool FM's Brittany King were presented with a check from Canadian Tire for $41,000. That money was raised this summer at the Canadian Tire tee-off for the Tour Golf Tournament at Cowichan Golf and Country Club. The way that people just give to this cause is just overwhelming. Um, we've seen it up and down Vancouver Island and and it's really overwhelming to see how much support we have and it's for such a great cause and we're so grateful for every penny. The team will spend the night in Duncan before conquering the Malahat and cycling into Greater Victoria tomorrow. Steve Coltsman, CTV News in the Cowichan Valley.